Welcome, Eurovision fans, and it is time to look at Kobe Marimi with Always. This is the last song I have on his journey. Uh, sorry it's taken so long, but I'm going to look at this, and then over the weekend I'm going to rank all of Kobe Marimi's performances. So I'll put out a video of my favorite uh songs and performances from Kobe Marimi's journey. This has been suggested by a bunch of people that want to see that, so I will get this out hopefully on Sunday. Um, I'll try to get it out early on Sunday, but uh, we're going to take a look at his whole journey, and I'll rank all his performances in, in my mind, and I'd love to hear your perspective, too, about how you feel his performances went as well. So let's take a look at Always now. I'm very happy to hear Kobe again. So let's go. This is the finals, I believe, if I recall correctly. This Romeo is bleeding, but you can see his blood. It's nothing but some feelings that it's all dark. Drowning in the flood. You see, I've always been a fighter, but without you, I'd give up. I can sing a love song like the way it's meant to be. Well, I guess I'm not as good anymore, but maybe that's just me. Just got that confidence, full confidence here. Great. That's so good. All oh, this family. <laughs> Just incredible, absolutely incredible. It's just another version of a song that I enjoy more than the original. Like, I love Bon Jovi. I'm a big fan of Bon Jovi. I even took my picture by the New Jersey State sign dressed as Bon Jovi, or at least my perception. Uh, I, I'm a fan of Bon Jovi. I really am. But Kobe's version here is just inspiring. It's inspired. He comes out. He's passionate. And I love, my favorite thing of the whole performance there was when he cracked that little smile at the beginning. He's like, I, I know this is the part where it gets big. You can tell his confidence here is cemented. He believes in himself. He knows. He is someone. And he went out there and he showed the world what he can do. Oh, man, I love that. I'm going to have to pit that against... I have a clear favorite from the Kobe Marimi performances. I have one that's right at the top. Just it, 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 To me, it is the best, in, in my opinion. And this is a competitor to be 
probably uh, second, third in that area. Because I, I liked all of them. It's going to be so hard to rank them. I have a clear number one of these performances, and I have a clear bottom. And uh, it's pretty easy to discern which ones that are top and bottom for me. And then the top couple are just incredibly hard to sort out because they're all great, you know? Like I said, the worst performance I think Kobe Marimi had, I'd rank an 8 out of 10. Like, this is a 10 out of 10 for me. This was fantastic. Uh, but there were a lot of songs that were 10s out of 10s that were fantastic, too. So... I'm going to have to sort through all these. It's it's tough. He's so good. He is such an incredible singer. And he just brings a tear to my eye every freaking time. And uh, during this performance, I had electric goosebumps running up and down my body as I'm listening to this. It's just fantastic. So, uh, yeah, I have a lot of hard choices here with that because... It's going to be hard ranking which ones I like the most. Uh, everything he's done, I've liked, L loved, more than liked, loved, you know. So uh, it's going to be hard ranking them. But I promise you, this weekend I will make a ranking video of all Kobe's performances and tell you my opinion. And I'd love to hear your opinions on your favorites and uh, least favorites of Kobe's journey. And it's been great going on this journey. I do have a live version of some of these songs that I'll listen to. Um, and I'll put that up here within the week. Um, and anything else I can find that Kobe's done, maybe I'll cover one of the interviews if you're interested. If you want to see me react to his interview with Deben and Madrid, um, I think that's where he did an interview that everybody really enjoyed. So maybe I'll react to that one because I haven't watched it yet myself, but I would love to. Anything I can do to help promote Kobe, I'd be happy to do that. Um, you know, all these artists that are in my top 10, I've been trying to promote them like crazy. And Kobe is one of my favorites. He's in my top three. So uh, I would love to do anything I can do last minute to help people open their hearts to Kobe and his journey. So uh, I'm working hard to try to, you know, promote my favorite songs and favorite artists of, of Eurovision. And, you know, Kobe is definitely right up there as one of my favorites. Uh, he's my favorite voice in the whole competition. So, um He's just a phenomenal talent, and it's just nice to see his story and, you know, seeing his family there cheering him on and seeing him just own the stage. It just, he's got, everybody in the audience became his family, you know. They are his family. They are, uh, I think all of Israel, you know, the ones that support him uh, are his family now, and he realizes that. He knows he's got value and self-worth, and that's the most beautiful thing out of all of this, is him realizing that he is an important person and inspires people. So thank you so much, Kobe Marimi, for what you do. Thank you to the people of Israel who kept fighting for Kobe and believing in him, even after he got sent home to fight to bring him back. And uh, I hope, hope, hope he just knocks it out of the park at Eurovision and proves the odds makers wrong because I think the odds makers have really done a disservice putting him in 26 and they're going to look really stupid the night of the contest when Kobe jumps up there in the rankings and takes his rightful place hopefully in the top 15 top 10 so uh you know I think he's going to prove a lot of people wrong so that's what I expect <laughs> but for now lethargic sloth out